Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the serial adder and here we have been given that the each register in the given circuit is of 16 bits. Moreover, here the clock frequency in the given circuit is equal to 16 megahertz. So using this circuit, three 16 bit numbers are added. So here we have been asked to find the time after which the sum output of these three numbers will be available in the register A. So here we have been also given that during the addition of these three numbers, no final carry is generated. It means that after adding the three numbers, the sum output is not more than the 16 bits. So now let us see how to find this time. So on the main channel, recently we have seen that how the serial adder circuit works. So here, first of all, we have been given that each register in the given circuit is of 16 bits and the frequency of the clock signal is equal to 16 megahertz. So here, through the serial input, the input signal is applied to the given circuit. So initially, before the addition, we will assume that all the registers in the given circuit have been cleared. That means initially, the content of each register is equal to 0. And through the serial input, the numbers are fed in the register A and the B. That means serially, with the each clock, the input data will be fed into these registers. So here, we will have the stream of bits. And with the every clock pulse, these bits will be fed into the register. So here, whenever the shift control input is high, then and then only, the shift register will shift the data. Moreover, here the clock signal to the flip-flop is also given through this AND gate. That means whenever the shift control input is high, then and then only, this flip-flop will accept the clock and it will store this carry output which is coming out from the full adder. So we can say that the circuit will perform the addition whenever the shift control input is high. Or in other words, we can say that when we want to perform the addition, at that time, we can make this shift control input high. So here, let's say the three numbers are A, B and the C. So initially, this number A will be fed into this register B. So after the 16 clock pulses, the entire number A will get shifted into the register B. So we can say that after the 16 clock pulses, the content of the register B is equal to A. So after the 16 clock pulses, the number B will be fed through this serial input. So bit by bit through this serial input, whenever we are shifting the number B into the register B at that time, the content which is already present in the register B will get shifted outside. And bit by bit, it will get added with the register A. So we can say that during the next 16 clock cycles, the content of the register B which is already present in the register B will get added with the content of the register A. So here initially, the content of the register B is equal to A. Well, the content of the register A is equal to 0. That means during the next 16 clock cycles, the A plus 0 will be performed and the sum output will be stored in the register A. That means after the next 16 clock cycles, if we see the content of the register A, then that is equal to A number. And during the 16 clock cycles, the number B will also get shifted into the register B. That means after 16 plus 16 clock cycles, if you see the content of the register A and the B, then the content of the register A is equal to number A, while the content of the register B is equal to number B. That means after total 32 clock cycles, the A and the B numbers will get shifted into the register A and the B. And after that, during the next 16 clock cycles, these A plus B will be performed. So we can say that after 16 plus 16 plus 16 clock cycles, this A plus B will be performed and the sum output will get stored in the register A. So we can say that after 48 clock cycles, the content of the register A is equal to A plus B. And during the last 16 clock cycles, when this A plus B is performed, at that time, the number C will also get shifted into the register B. That means after total 16 plus 16 plus 16 clock cycles, the content of the register A is equal to A plus B, while the content of the register B is equal to C. And now, 
during the next 16 clock cycles this a plus b plus c will be performed so we can say that after 48 plus 16 clock cycles this a plus b plus c will be performed and that output will be stored in the register a so we can say that after total 64 clock cycles the sum output of this a plus b plus c will be stored in the register a that is equal to a plus b plus c so on the recent video on the serial adder we have seen that while adding the n bit numbers the required number of clock cycles is equal to 3n plus this n times x minus 2 where the x shows the number of n bit numbers that we want to add so in this case if you see then the n is equal to 16 and the x is equal to 3 that means in this case the required number of clock cycles is equal to 48 plus 16 that is equal to 64 clock cycles and here the clock frequency is equal to 16 megahertz so we can say that the required duration is equal to 64 clock cycles times the duration of the one clock cycle that is equal to 1 divided by 16 megahertz so we can say that the required duration is equal to 4 microsecond that means after the 4 microsecond the sum output of the three numbers will be available in the register a and therefore for the given question the answer is equal to 4 microsecond